Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us for KX News at 6. Lauren has the night off. In our top story tonight, 75 years ago, Allied forces invaded German-held territory in France. The D-Day invasion had begun. That started the downfall of the Nazis, but it came at a terrible price in human lives. American troop deaths are estimated at 2,500 in that one single day. But thousands of others survived and continued the fight for Europe and went on to live long lives. Jim Olson sat down with one local D-Day soldier to hear his story. I don't scare very easily. Okay, I'm not bragging. That trait served Ed Zilly well in World War II. He was part of the 4th Infantry Division that stormed Utah Beach on D-Day 75 years ago. There were so many boats, planes, vehicles on the beach, guys, I don't know. You couldn't see good. There was some light, but not much. It was chaos in the water and on the beach as he and about 21,000 other troops hit the sand, but he kept his focus. But you, you're thinking about what you're supposed to be doing. What he was doing was hooking up critical communications on the beach, going a couple of miles inland to establish a lookout post from where artillery strikes could be coordinated. We'd be the first ones there, and then we had to pick the place, and then we'd bring them up there. It was not a piece of cake, believe me. He remembers many colleagues being scared, like a fellow New Yorker who had been ordered to go back to that forward communication post and make repairs. So I says, come on, I'll take you up there. I, I just felt for the guy. He was an old friend. He came from Long Beach in New York, not far from where I was. So, and I took him up there and got him back. And a hero, certainly. But he brushes off that label for himself, saying many others, including those who gave their lives, were the true heroes. He eventually ended up in Germany, re-enlisted, and met the woman of his dreams. This was my wife when she was 18 years old. How could you not fall in love with that? Yeah. But, <laughs> It was the start of a love story that spanned almost seven decades, something he smiles in remembering, something good emerging from such a terrible time so long ago. Jim Olson, KX News. True American hero. Zilly's part of tonight's special D-Day commemoration at Minot's Dakota Territory Air Museum. He and two other World War II veterans, John Sin and Lynn Oz, are being recognized for their service to the nation and the world. And a big thanks to them.